Welcome to Ask Endocrinologist channel. This is the channel where we talk about your hormones and how to stay healthy. If you're joining us for the first time, you're welcome. We encourage you to check our playlist to see more other videos that have been made about diabetes, what it is, uh, what is low blood sugar, how do you recognize it, and how do you recognize high blood sugar, and what can you do if your blood sugar is low or high. And we also talked about how to check your blood sugar at home. In this current se series, we are talking about thyroid. What is thyroid? The little butterfly organ that is in the lower part of our neck that controls our body metabolism which is how our body breaks and make energy and we, we have talked about when it is underactive last week so if you have not seen it we also encourage you to check and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do so to learn more about your health and how to stay healthy remember the more you know the better you are so I'm Dr. Grace and with me is Dr. Hope and we'll be talking today about overactive thyroid. Dr. Hope, the floor is yours. Hey, I'm Dr. Hope. So we'll be talking about the overactive thy thyroid, also called hyperthyroidism. So what is hyperthyroidism? What does that mean? So the thyroid hormone is responsible for your body's metabolism. So how active your body is. If you're making too much thyroid hormone, then your body becomes overactive. And that is called hyperthyroidism. There are thyroid hormone actually affects many different parts of your body. So it has effects throughout the, the entire body. Uh, one of the main symptoms is weight loss. So if you find that you're losing weight, um, and, and you, you're not sure why you're eating, you know, eating the same amount or even more and losing weight. That's a, um, a sign of hyperthyroidism, a fast heartbeat, uh, uh, or a condition called tachycardia or irregular heartbeat is another sign of hyperthyroidism, uh, increased hunger, a uh, nervousness, feeling an anxious and irritable are signs of hyperthyroidism, having a tremor, um, or sweating. Uh, um, sweating profusely usually and you know not knowing why uh, for women changes in your menstrual cycle can be a sign of hyperthyroidism as well um, people who also have increased sensitivity to heat like you may be feeling hot when everybody else is cold um, other things are just feeling tired um, having muscle weakness thin thinning of your skin or fine brittle hair, maybe hair loss as well. So some of those are the major signs of hyperthyroidism. It's something called periorbital edema or swelling around the eye is one of the other uh, signs of thyroid hyperthyroidism. All right, so in order to diagnose hyperthyroidism, again, you need blood tests. Just like in hypothyroidism, you need blood tests, hyperthyroidism, you need to check, your, your doctor needs to order or, uh, thyroid hormone level and a TSH. So those are two uh, lab values that are needed to make the diagnosis of hyperthyroidism. So you can have the symptoms, but you always need to confirm it with the blood test. And that's how we diagnose it. Uh, so once you have the blood test that shows that you're making too much thyroid hormone, um, then that confirms hyperthyroidism and it needs to be treated. Um, untreated hyperthyroidism can be dangerous and it can uh, lead to something called thyroid storm or thyroid toxicosis, which is a, 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 severe, uh, a, a severe disorder where uh, you have maybe severely increased uh, heart rate uh, or um, you can even develop fever um, but it's unstable. You develop unstable vital signs and it could be very dangerous. Uh, so definitely that is not something that uh, you want to, to uh, happen. So how do you treat hyperthyroidism? So it can be treated with a medication. The most common medication is called methimazole. Um, methimazole is uh, a medication that can be given twice a day or even once a day to control the thyroid. Uh, there is another medication called propylthiouracil that can be used to treat hyperthyroidism as well, but uh, one of the major side effects is liver disease. So we only give it during 
uh, thyroid storm. So in that case where you have severe hyperthyroidism or the first trimester of pregnancy because the methimazole um, is not as safe during the first trimester of pregnancy, but in the second two trimesters, you go back to the methimazole. So those two medications can be used to treat hyperthyroidism. The other medication that we use to, to help control hyperthyroidism is something called a beta blocker. So it's a, a blood pressure medication that control the heart rate. So when patients have increased heart rate, along with the hyperthyroidism, we give these uh, beta blockers to help control their heart rate as well. If medication doesn't work, or we also go through the other mode, which is the radioactive iodine therapy and sometimes surgery. Yeah. So um, just to wrap up, we, we're just going to uh, let you know some take on point is that not all symptoms of thyroid are truly thyroid because sometimes you have symptoms that are similar to thyroid, like people who are anxious and have other panic attack and all those things look similar. And uh, we want to, it's best to go to your doctor to get a blood work done. And that way we can confirm that this is from your thyroid, but you should not ignore your symptoms and don't say, oh, it's just anxiety. It may not just be an anxiety. You need to get it checked. And uh, thyroid problem, it's very treatable. Doctors give you the medication to take, take your medication as prescribed and you get yourself back into your healthy mode and able to do your daily activities. And one also more important thing is that uh, aside from the treatment options, you want to watch out and prevent the complications of thyroid problem. As Dr. Hope has mentioned, if you have thyroid problem, and you don't get it treated, it can cause a couple of com complications such as brittle bone, it can make your bone weak, and some people end up having osteoporosis. Aside that, it can affect your eyes, and that is called thyroid eye disease. And that also can be treated if you get it treated on time. And the real complication that can happen is a thyroid storm, and you don't really want to have that. It's not a good thing to experience. So check it out. Uh, get yourself treated. If you have question or comment or there are topics you want us to talk about, please put it down in the link uh, in the comment section below. We would like to address any of your concerns. Thank you for watching.